Hello math lovers, we have an algebra problem in this video, so let's try to solve the problem. Our question is x square plus y square equals to 1 and x cube plus y cube equals to 1 is given. What will be the value of x plus y if both x and y are real numbers? Answer. It is given that x square plus y square equals to 1 and x cube plus y cube equals to 1. So x plus y equals to what? So let x plus y equals to a. So we take our first equation that is x square plus y square equals to 1. So this can be written as x plus y whole square minus 2xy equals to 1. Remember the famous formula that is a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So here x plus y whole square will be x square plus y square plus 2xy will be cancelled out by minus 2xy. So what remains is x square plus y square. So hence this step is good. Now in the place of x plus y we assumed a so we can write this step as a square minus 1 we have taken from our right hand side and this minus 2xy will go to right hand side and become plus 2xy so in our next step what we have done is that we uh, we want the value of xy so we can take this 2 to this side so a square minus 1 whole divided by 2 this becomes our first equation similarly we go to our another equation that is x cube plus y cube equals to 1 now we again use a very famous formula that a plus b whole cube equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab bracket a plus b. So using that formula x cube plus y cube as x plus y whole cube minus 3xy bracket x plus y. So this portion will cancel out that plus portion from that, uh, from that formula. So our this step is also good. Now x plus y we can keep as a. So it becomes a cube this plus 1 will come to this side becomes minus 1 and this portion will go to that side and become plus so x plus y becomes a here so it becomes 3xy a now we want the value of xy so we can take 3a to the, to the another side so xy becomes a cube minus 1 divided by 3a this is our second equation now we have got the values of xy on both our equations so we equate them so from equation 1 and 2 a square minus 1 divided by 2 will be equal to a cube minus 1 divided by 3a then we cross multiply both these sides so it becomes 3a cube minus 3a equals to 2a cube minus 2 now we have 2a cube on our right hand side so when it moves to the left hand side it becomes 3a cube minus 2a cube equals to a cube minus 3a and then minus 2 will come to this side becomes plus 2 so our equation becomes a cube minus 3a plus 2 equals to 0 now we have to factorize this equation so how do we factorize it break minus 3a into two parts such that the multiplication will come 2 and the addition will come minus 3a so 2 into 1 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so we take 1 and 2 as our coefficient so minus 3a can be written as minus a minus 2a. Now in this equation we can take a as common. So if we take a as common from these two terms then this will reduce to a square minus we take a from here it reduces to 1. Now from here we can take minus 2 as common. So when we take minus 2 as common so a will be left. So this plus becomes minus because of this minus. So we take 2 from here so 1 remains so now from this equation we can take a square minus 1 as a plus 1 a minus 1 this is because this is in the form of a square minus b square so a square minus b square equals to a plus b a minus b so now we have two parts of our equation one is this part and another is this part we can take a minus 1 common from these two parts so we write a minus 1 and what is remained from here is a square minus a which we write and from here if we take this minus 2 is common so we keep it here so this becomes a minus 1 a square plus a minus 2 
now this part we can take to the right hand side so 0 divided by this will be 0 so a minus 1 is 0 therefore we get a as 1 similarly we can take a minus 1 to the right hand side such that 0 divided divides a minus 1 that will be equal to 0 so our equation becomes a square plus a minus 2 equals to 0 now we have to factorize this equation so we'll factorize it as a square minus a plus 2a minus 2 equals to 0 minus a plus 2a will be a so from these two terms we can take a common so after we take a common it will be reduced to a minus 1 and then we can take plus 2 commons from this 2 equation so plus 2 a minus 1 so we have this equation now this equation can be written as a plus 2 a minus 1 equals to 0 so now we have two expression a plus 2 equals to 0 and a minus 1 equals to 0 so from a plus 2 equals to 0 we get the value of a as minus 2 and from a minus 1 equals to 0 we get the value of a as 1 so we have x plus y equals to 1 and x plus y equals to 2 because we have uh, we have taken x plus y equals to a now we can put the value of a in x plus y so x plus y becomes 1 and minus 2 now this is not our final answer we we were required to find out the value of x plus y but this is not our final answer because we want to check if x and y are real numbers or not it may happen that two complex number can add up to become 1 and minus 2 so we need to check the individual values of x and y so let's check so for x plus y equals to 1 we can take x as 1 minus y now we can take our first equation to check this that is x square plus y square equals to 1 now x can be written as 1 minus y so 1 minus y square plus y square equals to 1 we can simplify 1 minus y whole square it becomes 1 square plus y square minus 2 1 multiplied by y plus y square equals to 1 so when we simplify this we get 2 y square minus 2 y equals to 0 so we can take 2, two y common from both these terms so if we take 2 y common then we get y minus 1 equals to 0 therefore y is equals to 0 or y is equals to 1 so we can say that x plus y equals to 1 is true because we have proved that both x and y are real numbers in case x plus y equals to 1 now let's see if x plus y equals to minus 2 or not so x plus y equals to minus 2 so we can write x as minus y minus 2 now again we take our first equation that is x square plus y square equals to 1 so for x we can keep minus y minus 2 so this equation becomes minus y minus 2 whole square plus y square equals to 1 now when we simplify this it becomes minus y whole square plus 2 square minus 2 minus y multiplied by 2 plus y square equals to 1 so when we solve this this comes out as 2y square plus 4y plus 3 equals to 0 so now we use discriminant to test if the value of y is real or complex so discriminant is given as b square minus 4ac so we have b square as 4 square minus 4 a is 2 and c is 3 so 4 square minus 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 comes out as 16 minus 24 which is minus 8 and minus 8 is smaller than 0 and if the discriminant is smaller than 0 that means that the value of y is complex and it is not real therefore we can say that x plus y equals to minus 2 is not true in our case x and y both are complex numbers and they add up to minus 2 so we have only one value of x plus y that is 1 and therefore we can say that x plus y equals to 1 is the only answer we have thank you